hey hey before we get started have you liked and subscribed yet there's a lot of great content coming your way from this channel so you don't want to miss out on the content make sure to like and subscribe that way you don't miss out on the great content coming your way from this channel one two three thank you for liking and subscribing also what did you think about the free audiobook that i made for you the link is in the comment section below once you listen to the free audiobook leave your feedback of it in the comment section below i will pin your comment and i will also give your channel a shout out as a thank you for listening to the free audiobook all right so this article is from bbc.com apollo 11 partial lunar eclipse due on 50th anniversary a partial lunar eclipse could be visible from the uk on tuesday 50 years to the day since the U.S. mission to put men on the moon lifted off. Up to 60% of the moon's surface will appear red or dark gray at the height of the eclipse at about 2230 BST, the Royal Astronomical Society, RAS, said. Lunar eclipses occur when the Earth crosses between the sun and moon, casting a shadow on the lunar surface. So I'm going to read that again. Lunar eclipses occur when the Earth crosses between the sun and moon, casting a shadow on the lunar surface. The Apollo 11 crew blasted off from Florida on July 16, 1969. The voyage ended four days later when U.S. astronaut Neil Armstrong became the first man to step onto the moon's surface. This, the event will also be visible across Africa, much of Asia, the eastern part of South America, and Western Australia. Wow, this is cool. What the various lunar eclipses look like. So these are the different colors and examples of what lunar eclipses look like. This is pretty cool. So on the left side are um, are what it's are what are examples of what a total uh, lunar eclipse looks like, and on the right is what a partial looks like. The event will also be visible. Okay, I've said that already. Dr. Morgan Hollis from the Royal Astronomical Society advises those who wish to see the event to find a low unobstructed horizon without tall buildings and trees he said unlike a solar eclipse it's entirely safe to watch a lunar eclipse with the naked eye so this one is fine you don't need any special equipment and it should be fairly warm as well given temperatures recently it should be good if the weather is clear and the conditions are clear Lunar eclipses can occur. Lunar eclipses can only occur on the night of a full moon. The next partial lunar eclipse is not expected until November 19, 2021. The last total lunar eclipse, sometimes known as a super blood wolf moon, was visible in the UK in January. Sky watchers in the UK will not get the chance to see another until 2029, weather permitting. This is really cool. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you're going to be on the lookout for the lunar eclipse that's due to take place um, today, actually. Depending on the time you're watching this, this is going to happen on Tuesday, um, July 16th. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Let me know if you're going to take a look at the lunar eclipse, because um, I'm excited. I, I really want to, I hope I get a chance to see it. I'm supposed to be working at night, but um, I'm going to see if I can take a look at it on my break. Um, but yeah, hopefully I don't miss it. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you're going to take a look at the lunar eclipse today. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. That way they can be in the know. And don't forget to listen to the free audiobook that I made for you. The link is in the comment section below. Listen to the free audiobook. Give me your honest feedback of it. And I will pin your comment. And I will also give your channel a shout out as a thank you for giving your feedback of the audiobook that I made for you. I hope you have a wonderful day. I look forward to spreading more news to you. Take care. Bye. Bye.